of basketball and Latin culture. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. Taking a look at some numbers here for Jalen Green. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. So here are the Jazz starting five. Collins and Kessler playing up front. Chris Dunn is out there with Colin Sexton. And it's Markkinen in at the three. And for the Rockets, Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. Dylan Brooks is out there with Smith. And it's Thompson in at the three. Well, Clark, with each passing game, the playoff draw closer. You can really start to feel the excitement building as a result. Yeah, I agree, but you can't get caught up looking too far ahead. That's how you can get yourself into some trouble. you got to keep taking it in the cliche manner, one game at a time. Some solid defense from Marketing. On offense, here's Utah. Pass to Dunn. That's tipped. It's stolen by Green. Takes a three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Dunn outside. Collins outside. From the arc. That one is off. Here's Smith. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Thompson. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine, the way that scoreboard's going to light up. Now here's Dunn. Marking it outside. Into the lane. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to go on Jalen Green. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing. But Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. That's good for marketing. And Graham, despite the lack of a superstar offensive weapon, the Jazz, one of the more efficient offenses. Yeah, B.A., in two areas where they separate themselves, they shoot a ton of threes, and they do a really good job tracking down those long rebounds on the offensive glass. The three, Smith gets the three ball to go. Hey, that quick release is what makes Smith so lethal in those catch-and-shoot situations. Pass to Collins. Marking it from long range. Thompson pulls it in. For Houston, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Brooks with it. Now Smith. He's covered by Kessler. Smith passes to Thompson. Outside for Brooks. Now Van Vliet. Four on the clock. And here's Green from the arc. Collins with the rebound. The Jazz have gone one for three so far. Markkinen, the pass to Dunn. Kessler with it. Pass to Collins. Markkinen, right side. From seven. Rockets with a rebound. 
Well, they put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Done with it. Guarded by Smith. And that one's good. Mark it in. Well, one thing you like there is the extra pass. Evidence that the game is starting to slow down for Dunn. Pass to Van Vliet. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. On the wing, Green. Now Thompson. Back to Brooks. Let's the three fly. Drills it from deep. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Utah's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Now here's Dunn, guarded by Van Vliet. Collins outside. Outside Sexton. Pass to Markadin. Here's Dunn. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Well, you got to put some pressure on Dunn when he's squaring up from outside because this guy is an exceptional scorer. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shots. So he'll get a pair at the line. When it comes to the Utah Jazz, it's evident that they are in rebuild mode, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., after trading away both Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell in the summer of 22, the Jazz are focused on starting new and building a team with young talent. And he makes a first. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. That's what he does, rock solid at the line. The Jazz have gone three of six from the floor. Pass to Sexton. Kessler down low. Covered by Smith. Dunn outside. Now here's Collins. Back to Dunn. Puts up a three. Knocks down the triple. Dunn's got six. And you got to love the concentration of Dunn, guys. Nailing the shot right in the defender's face. Thompson right side. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Pass to Markkinen. Markkinen with a screen on Smith. Collins with it, and it's going to be a three-second call. First and second chance points, and you got to love how they rebounded the ball, finishing top three in the league in that category. They made sure to be assertive when it came to hitting the boards. And this team embodies a never-give-up attitude. This is especially evident on the offensive glass, where they know how to keep plays alive and score off second-chance opportunities. Now, here's Green. No made baskets yet. Three-pointer Van Vliet. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green putting the team ahead of himself. Outside Sexton. Dunn outside. Collins against Brooks. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Brooks one of the great young stars in this league. Collins is aggressive, and he makes plays. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. You know, right from the start, it's saying they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And, and another thing, they found the open man really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. And he drops the first. And so far, Collins has been a pleasant surprise. A mobile, quick-thinking big man with enticing potential. And 
both free throws good for Collins. And here's Van Vliet. He'll bring it up for Houston. Pass to Brooks. Sexton against Green. Here's Smith. And here's Brooks. Out to the wing. Smith passes to Brooks. No good on the triple. Utah's gone two for four from range to start things off. Now marketing. Down low. Here's Kessler. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And marketing, the big fella has nice court vision, solid at finding open teammates. It's Van Vliet with a drive. Back to Thompson. Smith with it. Picked up by Markkinen. Three-pointer, Brooks. Knocks down the long J. Brooks has got six points. Great dime that time by Smith Jr. there. You see the floor awareness really starting to improve. Now here's Dunn. Guarded by Van Vliet. Pass to Collins. Now here's Sexton. For three. The shot comes out. Houston in the lead. Back to Smith. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. That is huge for him. Smith needs to get points inside to open up that perimeter game for him. And he's got the size to do both. Marketing against Thompson. And Marketing with the stop. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now here's Smith. He's got five. Here's Green. Another one falls for Houston. You know, with his quickness, he's already good at creating separation for his shot. And we know he doesn't need much room to get his shot off either. One thing about Jalen Green, his path to the NBA was through the G League, Clark. And, you know, I think we'll see more and more players take that path, those who don't want to go to college. It's a really good way to enter into NBA level experience early on. You want to get your feet wet before diving into the big time? That's a good way to do it. And the Rockets with possession here, following the bucket by the Jazz. Van Vliet misses. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Outside Sexton. to market in. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Again, Utah. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. Houston has gone four of nine from beyond the three-point line in this first quarter. Brooks, the pass to Smith. Here's Van Vliet from behind the arc. And so far in this one, two for four. If you let him, Van Vliet will just live at the arc. I mean, he shoots fearlessly from out there. Dunn outside. Marketing the pass to Kessler. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Well, Houston's shooting a phenomenal 60% on the first. Out to Thompson from downtown. Kessler with a rebound. Utah trailing here. Dunn with it. He's got 10. Marketing outside. Pass to Collins. Back to Markkinen. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer. The shot by Dunn, no good. Yeah, no, he usually makes you pay from that range. Brooks finds Van Vliet. And here is Green. Thompson passes to Smith. Off target from three-point range. For Utah, they've gone eight for 14 from Two the floor. In the first. Two minutes. Pass to Kessler. It's Markkinen on the wing. The Jazz again can't hit. Now 
Oh, here's Green. From ten feet away. Out to Thompson. Here's Green. Back to Van Vliet. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. And the defense is all over Van Vliet inside. But he sticks with it and wins a trip to the line for his efforts. Fred Van Vliet. The first one falls. And the big X factor Van Vliet brings to the team is leadership. He's very talented at setting a good tone out on the floor and organizing his guys. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Yurt Sevens checked in for Kessler. Horton Tucker comes in for John Collins. Clarkson's checked in for Sexton. And it's George in for Dunn. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. And the Jazz with possession here. They trail by six. To the middle. And Markkinen gets it to go on the assist by George. Markkinen's got nine points. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Picked by Tate. Here's Van Vliet. And that one's good. 12 points for him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. George scanning the floor. Here's Clarkson. Oh, the teardrop falls in. A growing aspect of George's game. He's working to become a strong facilitator. Let's it go from the wing. And the basket by Van Vliet. And the Rockets lead by six. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Pass to your seven. Marking it outside. Your seven, a screen on Holiday. And here's George. Your seven, a screen. Shot clock at six. From 12 feet. George's shot is off. And here's Van Vliet. 14 points for him. Three-pointer holiday. The long distance three is buried. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. And you see the confidence. Not shy at all about rising up from mid-range. Fred Van Vliet has been on display for Houston. Free the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. We'll be right back. The Jazz, 27. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, for the Rockets, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Well, clearly, they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. And so it's George with it. He brings it up for Utah. Seven-point differential. We've got Smith, Jayshon Tate out there with Green. Then it's Aaron Holiday, and it's Van Vliet in at the point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. You know, Clarkson really working on his range, and defense is better wise up to it. Van Vliet on the wing. George defending. Pass to Green. Tate with it. Green with a screen on Clarkson. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Here's Smith. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Smith's got his third basket on the night right there. 
Smith wants to be a contributor out there, and he's willing to put the work in to make it happen. And there's a pick. Here's George. Again, Utah. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Holiday. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Chicago. Tate finds Holiday. Over Clarkson. And Lofton pulls it down. And this game, folks, a close one here in Houston. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, Laurie Markkinen has become the go-to scorer for the Jazz. Coach Will Hardy said, quote, it's not easy going from being a role player to being the guy. There's an emotional part of being counted on like this, and he's handled it very well. To have the evolution that he has had is something that he should be very, very proud of. Brian? Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Allie. Good stuff there. Landale's checked in for Smith. And a switch here also for Utah. Your seven's checked in. Van Vliet outside. The Rockets with another miss. Gordon Tucker on the wing. He's covered by Tate. Pass to your seven. George outside. Your seven a screen from deep. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Van Vliet up top. George defending. Van Vliet against George. Green with a screen on George. Back to Green. Takes the three. It's rebounded by George. The Jazz have gotten three of four field goals in the second quarter. Pass to Markkinen. To the paint. Ball stolen. Green with the ball. Picked up by Markkinen. Fires it. And that one's good. Green. And the Rockets lead by four. And Clark, it's safe to say that there's more talent in the NBA today than ever before. I don't think there's any question about that, B.A. There are more outstanding players across the country and around the world than at any time, I think, in the history of the game. In part because of the information age we live in, players from around the world can see examples of excellence from whatever part of the world they happen to be from. And that is huge in inspiring young players to dream and realize their dream of being NBA players if they have the ability and the work ethic to do so. Brooks, he's checked in for the Rockets. Jalen Green comes in for Holiday. John Collins checked in for Utah. Dunn comes in for Horton Tucker. So it's Utah with it. They trail by seven. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. And, you know, that's a big part of how they attack and win, getting it going from the three-point line. But at the end of the day, it didn't happen. George against Van Vliet. On the wing, Green. Pass to Brooks. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Green. Cashes it in from 11 feet. I like when Green aggressively hunts his shot. He's a very impressive offensive player for as young as he is. Now Clarkson. He's got five. Collins outside. Back to Clarkson. Collins a screen. Let's it fly. And it's Clarkson missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Van Vliet against George. Van Vliet outside. Landale with a screen. Van Vliet, the pass to Landale. And that one, good. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. All right, the Rockets.
Jenkins making a switch here. Smith's checked in. And a switch here also for Utah. Kessler's checked in. At the line for your Rockets, Jack Wendell. One shot. By the lane. One shot. Here's Dunn. He's got 10. Pass to Markkinen. Up and over Brooks. Down low. Markkinen. Impressive awareness from Markkinen. I mean, down on the block there. Really good job of using his height to get his shots off. Clarkson against Green to the inside. Van Vliet. Ooh, great D that time from Dunn. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Pass to Markkinen. Markkinen with a screen on Smith. Clock at six. Markkinen inside. Brooks defending. Markkinen misses. Brooks has got the ball here for the Rockets. Van Vliet, the pass to Landale, and he dumps it down. I mean, this is why Van Vliet's teammates like playing with him, because he looks to set them up with his passing. The Jazz have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Now here's Kessler. 14 points for him, last game against Dallas. Pass to Clarkson. Done outside. Collins with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Dunn, and he drains it. A solid five for six now. Yeah, I love this night for Dunn. It's the kind he can build on, trying to really gain consistency as a scorer. This will help. Van Vliet with it. Picked up by Markkinen. Van Vliet misses. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Pass to Clarkson. Jacks up a three. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got his sixth rebound on the night. And talking about Jabari Smith, a talented young forward with a bright future, Clark. Really excited about his future because he does everything smoothly and easily. Good IQ. I think he just needs to add a little strength to really optimize what he has in his back. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it at least they might be distracted by your presence no good on that one Thompson he's checked in for the Rockets Colin Sexton's checked in for Utah Good on the second one. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Utah has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Clarkson against Brooks. Let's go with a three. And Clarkson with the three. Clarkson's got eight. They're making a few more threes this quarter, which should help them cut into that deficit. Thompson outside. Now here's Smith. He's got seven. A clear look for Green. That one rolls around and rims out. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Dunn outside. Collins finds Clarkson. Here's Dunn. Green covering. Collins with a screen on Green. Dunn, the pass to Collins. Houston. And now the 2K leaderboard will give us a glimpse of the top rebounding teams in the second half of the season. The Rockets, second. Incredible rebounding numbers since the break. They've put in a lot of effort on the glass. Two shots.
He misses the free throw. Green's checked in for Landale. And he sinks the second. For Houston, they've gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. On the wing, Green, defended by Dunn. Oh, Green wanted those two. That time, defense all up in Green's business, but he can get physical just like they can. Brooks against Clarkson. Collins outside. Back to Clarkson. Six to shoot. The Rockets pull it in. Smith's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Green. Smith right side. Green finds Green. Fires the three. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Thompson. Green's got his second basket on the night. In order to create effective spacing, you need enough guys on the floor that can hit from downtown. Here's Collins. And no good trying to use the glass. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Pass to Smith. Brooks outside. The three. The rebound by the Jazz. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was in Houston. Turnovers were the story of that game. It wasn't what I would call a disciplined performance. Yeah, and when you think about it, there was some really sloppy basketball being played by them. And they recognized that had they played a cleaner game, they could have gotten a win. Here's Green. The Jazz making their last shot. Got a piece of it. Thompson outside. This one for three. And Green, good for three. Green's got his third basket Green. of the night. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. Outside Sexton. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. There's a minute 54 left in the first half. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. You know, when analyzing the game of Colin Sexton, this is a guy who can score from all three levels, Grant. You know, this is what his team has asked him to do, to be aggressive on offense and to shoot the ball with confidence too, B.A. Free throw good from Sexton. And there's no question that Sexton can flat out fill it up scoring-wise. Now he must focus on evolving as a facilitator. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Van Vliet's checked in. And Utah with a change here, too. Markkinen's checked in for Clarkson. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 152 left in the second. Smith in the high post. No good there. Good D by Kessler. Utah has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Now here's Dunn. Tight defense on him. Marketing against Smith. And that one's good. Marketing. Marketing's got 13. So much fun watching Markin and catch fire like this. He's a capable, efficient scorer who does it at a high rate. Now here's Van Vliet. 17 points in the game. Overdone. Van Vliet misses. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Sexton against Green. Kessler passes to Collins. Collins drawing the double team. Over to the left wing. Here's Dunn. And 
and there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Houston in the lead. 34 seconds left in the first half. It's Thompson, high post, over Marketing, and it's Thompson that time on the assist from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got five assists in the game. Pass to Collins. Sexton looking around. Collins with a screen on Thompson. Sexton passes to Dunn. Six on the shot clock. The three knocks it down from distance. Dunn's got five points now this quarter. Boy, you got to love it whenever you see Dunn working the screen roll. Crafty, creative, and confident is Chris Dunn. As we wrap up the first half of play, the Rockets on top, they lead by five. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. Thanks for tuning in. With half the game in the books, a bit of ground to make up for the Utah Jazz. They're giving up loads of threes. You can see that. Defensively, it's like they're a step too late, too often. Yeah, as a coach, you want to see the effort from your guys. They weren't terrible in the first half, but we know they have more to give. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for social media posts. Donuts all day long wants to know how many degrees does Shaq have at this point? Oh, this again? First of all, only the children can call me Shaq. The adults have to address me as Dr. O'Neill. Well, first of all, Dr. J's more of a doctor than you. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. seen so far. Oh, we're seeing a tremendous game from Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, he's showing off how skilled he is at attacking the defense and converting at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Utah has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Kicking off the second half, here's Will Hardy's five. The forwards, it's Marketing and Collins. Collins Sexton out there with Chris Dunn. And it's Kessler in at the center position. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And I like it. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a sure-handed lay in there. But for me, I don't mind a little extra. And so it's Houston with it. After the basket by Utah. Smith finds Thompson. Back to Smith. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Boy, Smith put some real power behind that jam. Well done, young man. Now here's Dunn. Guarded by Van Vliet. Dunn, the pass to Kessler. Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the end one. At the line for the Jazz, Kessler taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him.
off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. The Rockets shooting is around 55% so far. And here's Thompson for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Marketing's got four rebounds now. Dunn outside. Stolen by Van Vliet. Banked it in off the glass. Van Vliet's got 19 points. Yeah, give Van Vliet a chance to make an impact play on defense, and he'll jump on it. Dunn outside. Collins with a screen on Van Vliet. Collins outside. Launches a three. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Van Vliet. Van Vliet double team. On the wing, Green. Oh, Jalen Green with the sweet stroke. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Tries a nine-footer. That one's all for him. Six for 11 now. For Houston, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Now here's Van Vliet, defended by Dunn. Here's Thompson. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got five rebounds in the game. Outside Sexton. Up top, Collins. Dunn outside. Clock at six. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. A sharp feed by Collins. His coaches want more of that from him. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Rockets. They've led by as much as 10. Brooks outside. Pass to Green. Brooks a screen on Sexton. And it's blocked by Collins. You can't sleep on Collins' long arms when he's defending you. He'll swat you down all day with that long reach. Now here's Dunn. He's got 17. Now Marketing. Collins with a screen on Thompson. Marketing finds Collins. Up and over Brooks. Oh, and it's Collins. That time on the assist by Marketing. Collins has got 10. I mean, defending this team, you have to track Collins in the pick and roll. He'll hurt you if you lose him. Van Vliet outside. Sexton grabs the board. Utah trailing here. Pass to Dunn. Market and outside. Kessler with it. Working on green. Kessler, no good. The Rockets have gone four of eight in the third. Thompson passes to Smith. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got assist number five here tonight. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Now here's Markkinen. He's got 13. The layup misses. Markkinen against Brooks. Pass to Smith. Thompson with it. Van Vliet with it. Defended by Dunn. Wing shot on the way. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Chris Dunn. Just an active score. Defenses know when Van Vliet is looking to capitalize, forcing them to compromise sometimes. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. Yeah, something else they're doing in this game is striking from long range. The defense just hasn't been able to keep them off the arc tonight. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. For Utah, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Green against Sexton. Kessler a screen. 
Puts it up from 12. Sexton. That's good. And the pick and roll was a good decision by Sexton. He's got solid playmaking instincts. Pass to Brooks. Now here's Smith. He's covered by Kessler. Here's Thompson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Jazz shooting about 56% in this one. Done with it. He's got 17. Here's Collins. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Assisted. Collins has gotten four this quarter. If the contact wasn't going to hold Collins down. He explodes into it and finds the shot. And they call an illegal screen here. Fourth and rebounding. And they place in the top ten in fast break points. They take their chances to run. And it's something they're really good at. And you love how they've controlled the glass at both ends. It takes a huge effort to out-rebound this club. Now here's Dunn. Defense is right there. Marketing finds Collins. Back to Marketing. Uses the glass on the layup. Marketing's got 15. A nice awareness there from the big man Collins. Solid at finding his teammates when they're open. Lead right side for three, Smith. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got six assists now in the game. Now here's Dunn, guarded by Van Vliet. Outside Sexton. Back to Dunn. Pass to Sexton. Over Green. It's rebounded by Houston. Thompson's got four rebounds now. Well, Grant, Amin Thompson is proof there are more routes than ever to get to the league. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path, but both high lottery picks, and it worked out for them both. From down in the low post, it goes. And now it's a 10-point rocket lead. You see there, Thompson does a good job of sneaking into the lane and finishing. Pass to Collins. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the Rockets making a change here. Green is checked in. And a switch here also for Utah. Clarkson's checked in for Marketing. Free throw is good from Collins. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for Houston. They've led by as many as 11. Thompson finds Green. Outside, Green. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. Puts it up. Thompson, no good. The Jazz have gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Collins outside. Brooks against Clarkson. Kessler a screen. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Here's Collins. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Just a big play at this juncture of the game. Second chance points could be the key for them. Impressive effort right there. That's what they need to mount a comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now here's Clarkson. Give him eight. And he gets the bucket. Clarkson's got 10 points in the game. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Here's Smith. 14 points for him. Connects from downtown. And this is big for Thompson's confidence. He needs to keep hitting from downtown. 
Now here's Dunn. Green covering. Dunn outside. Pass to Clarkson. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Green. Houston has gone three of four from outside in the second half. From deep three-point land. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got seven rebounds in the game. Dunn, the pass to Sexton. Back to Dunn. Sexton against Thompson. Now here's Kessler. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming. Shooting for Utah. Kessler, two shots. Free throw, no good. So for the Rockets, Landale's checked in for Smith. Tate comes in for Brooks. And Holiday subbed in for Green. And Utah with a change here, too. George is checked in. He does not get the second one. They're missing a chance to trim the lead by leaving points at the line. You know, way back in 2012, Clark, it looked like Jeff Green's career was going to be cut short. Yeah, we all were worried about whether or not he would be able to continue to play. He had life-saving open-heart surgery, then worked extremely hard to get back out onto the basketball court. And what a career he's managed to put together after that. Amazing. And Collins with the chance. Oh, did you see that? John Collins. A little bit of sauce on that slam. Thompson against Sexton. Here's Tate. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Rockets lead by eight. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. George against Holiday. George passes to Clarkson. 125 left in the third. And the shot goes down. Clarkson's got four points now in the quarter. And their outside game has simply evaporated here in the second half. Not a lot of great looks from deep. Pass to Landale. And here is Thompson. Checked by Sexton. Here's Landale. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Utah's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. And that one's good. Clarkson. Assist goes to George. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Now Green. Thompson passes to Landale. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his sixth assist of the night. Inside. Here's Clarkson. Book it again. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last 10 points have come from inside. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now here's Green. 10 points for him. Six to shoot. To the middle. Well timed pass and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Green's got 12 points. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Clarkson against Tate. And he's going for the oop here. Well, when he's dialed in like this, Collins can be a serious difference maker on offense. Hopefully he can keep it up. And here is Thompson. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. Bucks three so far in this one. Rockets ahead. Leading by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break.
And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Houston in the lead. Jayshon Tate out there with Green. Then it's Jock Landale. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Holiday in at the two-guard spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Here's Landale. Outside for Green. The three is up. Counted from distance. And the Rockets lead by seven. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Clarkson. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Landale. And here's Tate outside. And the Rockets hit again from deep. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either. So that's a double-edged sword there. Now here's George. Sabalich passes to Clarkson. George outside. Shot clock at six. From the baseline. Holiday grabs the miss. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Pass to Tate. Bad lead against George. Holiday with the ball. Green with a screen on Clarkson. Outside for Green. The three ball. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists tonight. And their strategy is obvious. Manufactured looks from outside the arc. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Now here's Horton Tucker. Kicks it to George. Perfection with the jumper from the elbow. And he's a crafty scorer for a young player. George is always going to find the gaps in the defense. George against Van Vliet. Pass to Green. Now here's Holiday. Back to Tate. Van Vliet with it. Outside Tate. 4-3. It's hauled in by Samanich. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Clarkson against Holiday. George outside. Let's it go from 11. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Fred Van Vliet. And there's no question George can fill it up. For him, it's about focusing on shooting good percentages. That's good from George. Smith, he's checked in for the Rockets. Kessler, he's checked in for Utah. George hits them both. Here's Van Vliet. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Pass to Smith. Good D by Kessler. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. George against Van Vliet. George passes to Kessler. George outside. And here's Clarkson. Five on the clock. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Clarkson's got 11 in the second half. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. And that one's good. Green. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead, and as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. Clarkson finds Markinus. Marketing nails the contested three. Jeff Green. 
He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Jazz. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. You know, something else that stood out to me is the fact that they continued to force it inside. They were intentional about getting that ball in the paint, and they were looking to score whenever possible in the post. That's good for marketing. Boy, in this day and age of how the game is played, marketing skill set, hand and glove fit, superb at spacing the floor with the shooting score. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Shoots over George. And the basket by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got 23 points. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. Pass to Markkinen. Markkinen with a screen on tape. George outside. Kessler down low. He's against Smith. Stolen by Van Vliet. Down low. Jumps up and finished off by Tate. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Here's Clarkson following the score by Houston. Kessler a screen. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Houston foul. Jamar Smith. Fourth personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Utah. Kessler at the line for two. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. So for the Rockets. Brooks, he's checked in for Green. Thompson comes in for Tate, and Jalen Green subbed in for Holiday. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Stolen by Collins. Outside Sexton. Over Green. And it's Sexton. That time on the assist by Collins. Great awareness by Sexton to find the soft spot. Nice pull up there, pure for mid-range. Van Vliet outside, fires from deep. Here's Smith. Ooh, he's found his rhythm, seven for 10 and counting. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh, those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the glass. Now here's Sexton, pass to Markkinen. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Really good to see Markkinen be aggressive inside. He's excellent at drawing the attention of the defense and then forcing them to foul him. Taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Playing with fire and toughness. Smith Jr. doesn't let the foul stop him. Walker Kessler. That's their second personal. First team foul. At the line for Houston. Jamari Smith. One shot. Get 
Utah's gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Now here's Dunn, guarded by Van Vliet. Here's Collins. Here's Kessler. Up again. It's good on the putback. marketing has got seven points here in the quarter. Yeah, Markin's doing a nice job Martin. crashing the glass there. Seven feet tall. This guy making good use of his size on that possession. Timeout call. Houston. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Hey, guys. During that last break, I heard Ime Udoka as he talked with the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Okay, thanks, Allie. And that one's good for Brooks. And he's much more comfortable shooting off a pass. Brooks with a nice shot. Down outside. Pass to Markkinen. with a rebound. Smith's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Van Vliet defended by Dunn. Van Vliet outside. And stolen by Sexton. Here's Markkinen. Oh, look at the fin with the finish. Lowry Markkinen. You know, when Markkinen's in this deep, he should be dunking it every time. I like to see him use his size like that. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now, here's Green. Pass to Thompson. Brooks outside. From outside the arc, Utah with the rebound. Now done. Collins with a screen on Thompson. Marking it from long range. He can't hit that time. Houston has got four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Van Vliet double team. Outside. Green. There's the three. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. And the Rockets lead by 13. Green, impressive range from deep. He knows how dangerous he can be from there. Pass to Kessler. Here's Sexton. Oh, and Got makes it with the kiss. The Sexton's got four points in the quarter. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Now Thompson. Three-pointer Van Vliet. Nails it from three. And Bleach got nine points here in the second half. Wow. Great concentration. Van Bleach unfazed with a hand in his face. Sexton passes to Kessler. Count it. Kessler. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Timeout call, Houston. Let's give a walk to your Black City Pacers. Once again.
complete outside. Pass to Brooks. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by the Jazz. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Markkinen. Don outside. Three on the clock. For three, Sexton fires in the triple. I mean, Sexton can shoot from anywhere. Strong from beyond the arc. Grant would be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah. Coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. And another miss by Houston. Utah has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the quarter where it is getting better with time. Sexton making an effort to pass it to teammates who are wide open. Van Vliet outside. On the wing, Brooks. Van Vliet outside. There's the triple. And it's Brooks missing. And so it's Collins who brings up the ball for Utah. Seven-point differential. Back to Markkinen. Clock at six. Sexton a screen on Thompson. Markkinen for three. Rebounded by Green. And Houston is shooting 55% for the game so far. Pass to Brooks. Three-pointer. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. And the Rockets lead by 10. It's clear now how this is going to end. And I'm not surprised. Great win for the Rockets. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. Yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. And for the year now, they've chalked up 35 wins. And propelling them to a solid win, it was a night of big plays for Fred Van Vliet. The scoring effort from him on wheel, carrying this team. I mean, he was amazing tonight. Houston on D. They've led by as many as 14. Done. The pass to Kessler. Green against Sexton. Shot clock at five. Smith with the rebound. And it's Houston's ball. Ten-point lead. Van Vliet finds Green. 26 seconds left in the game. Is it and the Rockets hit again from deep. This is what winning is all about playing your best when it matters most. And you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off from deep. Can't get it to fall, and so Houston takes this one by a big margin. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Mark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. Now our New Balance Player of the Game.